Hello and welcome to eBible Fellowship Scripture and Song program. The nature of this program is to take a closer look at one of the hymns that has been written to glorify God. Our scripture and song today is based on Psalm 119 in verse 11, where we read, Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. Now before we get to the actual stanzas of the hymn, it must be brought up that the word of God cannot be hid in a heart that is dead. Surely unsaved men can memorize the word of God, but they will not be without sin because of that word in their heart. It is the Lord Jesus in the heart of his people that causes them to be without sin. Jesus is the word of God. We read in Romans 8 verse 9, But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And in 1 John chapter 3 and verse 9, we read, Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. The snare that God has laid here is for a person to think that they can somehow memorize and study the word of God enough and keep it in their mind that it is them that will not sin before God. And here is the parable or the hidden truth in this verse. Since Jesus is the word of God, when Jesus comes into our heart, our life is guided by the word of God. It is the word of God in our hearts and minds that directs our actions, our thoughts, and our deeds. The Lord gives the child of God a sincere desire to know the Lord, and how do we know the Lord but through his word? And through the Spirit of Christ in our hearts, we have this desire to know the Lord through his word and to keep his word. We want to be obedient to the word of God. We do not want to sin before God. It's our heart's desire to please the Lord and to keep his word. But yet, even with this, we will fail. The child of God still will have sin before God. But... It is the Lord Jesus, the Spirit of Christ in that believer that the Lord looks at. It is Jesus that never sins before God, and that is how we are counted righteous before God, only by Christ in us. So our hymn goes on in stanza one, Thy word is a lamp to my feet, a light to my path always, to guide and to save me from sin and show me the heavenly way. In the Bible, God uses the physical pictures of darkness and light to typify walking or living according to his word or walking or living in sin. If you've ever been camping or up in the woods at night and you turn all the lights out, you know that it gets so dark you can't even see your hand in front of your face. And if you try to walk without a light, you will stumble. God further uses that picture in John chapter 8, verse 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And in Proverbs chapter 6, and verse 23, we read, For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. So we see that Jesus is the word of God, and he is that light that guides us, that gives a light to our way in this life. And in part two, we will look at the last three stanzas of this hymn. But now let us listen to Thy Word Have I Hid in My Heart.
been listening to eBible Fellowship Scripture and Song Program. If you enjoy listening to our programming, we'd like to hear from you. Write to us at ebiblefellowship at juno.com.